believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts known as Zoogles, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, Lord of the Firemaster Corps. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. Why you? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All right, third squad! Time to regroup! <laughs> Go on, get moving! Iron Mask? That's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose.
doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. Ah, you again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself, and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danans are always dying, and the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Keep your voice down, will you? <sighs> if only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <sighs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that, but I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young, and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. Guess I'll go back to my room. I'm a slave, just like everyone else here. So how come I don't have a spirit core? Or face, or memories for that matter. Worrying about it will change anything. I should get some rest. I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but for how long? Tomorrow's another day. I guess I should get some shut-eye. I'd better head to work. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. Great. Time to start another day toiling away for the rans. Am I gonna do this until the day I die? Lively slaves, let's see some work around here!
She's here! nowhere to be found. This hurts. Hey, Bennett, did you find anything? Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> missed your chance to become lord which means you lot live and die for me the mighty balsav got that through your skulls now hurry up and bring me shion yes, yes sir, sir. Hmm. 
Even the drinks lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Lord Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Volkiris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. <laughs> You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the Resistance, for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eyes' best laid plans. The Danon Resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the Slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. They're interrogating her? Just what the hell is going on? I need to go and find out for myself. Ah, damn it! So it wasn't a lie. The slightest touch is like being struck by lightning. What are you doing? So you're finally awake, huh? What's going on here? What did she ever- Mind your business. So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted, huh? It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? <laughs> For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. And now, we come across Miss Prickly herself. Hmm. Drop the attitude. Did you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you? Miss Shion Imeris? <laughs> That's her name? Jeez. What? You didn't figure it out already? Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname. 
Which means one thing. She's a Renan, our enemy. Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. So then, why? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a Danon from a Renan. And that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, Bright Eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Don't you call us embedded! Look! You see the stone your people embedded in me? There isn't one. Because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind! The scars are reminder. Not to rest until every last Faith. one of you is... We Danans may not be capable of using astral arts, but it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you, that's one hell of an ability. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? No! <laughs> Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why... <laughs> An ambush! They must have tracked us down. Evacuate his plan. Hurry! And bring the girl. If she gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. I got it. Hey, Iron Mask! Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny. 